go. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions. Chandlo Funk Bun. I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get them there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey. I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, cause she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. I will get 
got you there. Thanks, Chandler. And, uh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. You're doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. <laughs> Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Bevica, Gramble! What happened? We saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... Oh, until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking in the huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't! Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths! Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high-strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets! You say that again! Oh, get off me! Stop. Whoa! Hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? Found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Well, w w what did you find? Well, that's. Um, I, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm, monsters a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the grump and our- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. I was top of the charts, thank you. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. Oh, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <sighs> I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it, as long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe? If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Sheldar, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. <laughs> Sup? Yeah, dog. I'm trying. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get. And I can't move this. I gotta be stronger than a grump. Uh, if you go find the biggest, buffest. <laughs> hey there. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. Nah. I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. <laughs> what do I think of? Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethika planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pfft, Disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafic. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. 
Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. Evening. What are you looking at? Psst. Hey, pal, I got a tip. That trip, they say it'll lead to a year. I was think, get me a buck, then we'll. I clear. <laughs> Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Of course I do, but at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. <laughs> <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Bean. I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. But, well, I, well, I, I, I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lisbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lisbeth disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted, blow and arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. On, shall we just follow Papa's pointer uh, or or don't that's fine too we're off to a bit of a slow start oh, it went so easy with Sprout I just don't know what's going wrong now maybe maybe Sprout all righty now just use Sprout to lead Charwe back <laughs>
Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell. I, I have to cover my But that's just you pour every little bit of love.
Snack bug. Wow, five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. Sprinkle, 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 Pete. Be here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You. you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter. The one Liz was always talking about. I, I didn't think you'd really come out here. I'm surviving. If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blood force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. No, not until I find Liz. We, we were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake, and we got separated. Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please. Figure this out. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. <laughs> Thanks for the help.
Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? peace. Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great moon. Walk in the light.
Yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth. To break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells. Crack open the egglers. Give them new life. burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. Temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Seek a rasby deep below, a hidden. <laughs>
peace was lost, now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sands. It was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me. took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa.
One more thing I must do. Hand me the Snacktivator. The old Snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. <sighs> My body remembers what I eat. The Snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapra to Strabi. <laughs> Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. <laughs> Aha! My leg is back! Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail! This discovery will reshape the world! To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Kokomites. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat.
Look at that Unbelievable. Hmm. My body has changed into more cogamites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Bonobber, and Strabby all at once. General ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Okay. Oh, my Grump. Where'd you find this? Good work. Oh, was her writing always this sloppy? 
It's not doctor bad, but still. Huh. Who says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent? Uh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? <laughs>
Yeah. 
Scoopy, scoopy, boom. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I, I got the rest of the snacks. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. More <laughs> 